Hello everyone, I am the author of a Shadow Sox plugin Go Quiet. It aims to defeat the active detection and active program mechanism of the Great Firewall. Uh, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to set up the Shadow Sox client, Go Quiet client, Shadow Sox server, and Shadow Sox server, uh, basically then high proxy chain so that you can use it uh, when everything's up and running. Uh, let's begin with the ShadowSox server. As you may have already realized, ShadowSox is not a uh, service. It is not like a traditional VPN where you pay some people some money and they make it magically work. Uh, ShadowSox is self-hosted. That means you need to purchase a VPS server, which is basically a remote computer that is used by yourself. There are several options, uh, like the big companies, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud Platform. They, I think they both provide some free tier services and the uh, basic instances are not very expensive either. But to go cheaper, you can go for some smaller companies like DigitalOcean, Bandwagon, uh, just search VPS uh, on Google and you'll get the results. Uh, I'm not going to teach you how to set up the VPS instances, there are plenty of tutorials already on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have already set up the instance, that you have uh, already downloaded the, downloaded the SSH key, and you know how to connect it, uh, connect to the remote server. Now let's begin from that. So let's launch Putty. Oops, launch Putty. Uh, in this case, I'm using Google Cloud Platform with Ubuntu 16.04. Now. First of all, we need to download ShadowSox. The recommended version is ShadowSox LibF, which is the high-performance high uh, port of ShadowSox, and it supports natively plugins, uh, which uh, saves you a lot of hassle to use the standalone mode. Now, if you're using Ubuntu 16.1 or higher, you can just directly install it from the Active Package Manager. is included in the uh, vanilla re repository. If you're using lower than that, you need to run these several commands to add it to your private repository. Uh, I have already installed them on this machine, so this won't really do anything. Let's see, update. And now we can install Shadow Sox. Right, that's done. Let's test it with SS server. And you can see it's up and running. Uh, we can't use it yet, so we just uh, exit. Now the next step is to download and set up Go Quiet Server. To do, say, uh, to do this, you go to releases. Uh, in the GitHub page, and you look for the GQ server binary of your desired platform. Normally, it's Linux 64. In fact, in most, uh, almost all of the cases, it will be Linux 64. We download the binary, and for the ease for future, let's just remove it. Uh, rename it to GQ server. Now, configurations. There are two configuration files you need to consider about. One of them is um, the ShadowSox configuration, which is located at ShadowSox, ShadowSox libf, config.json. You need sudo to edit it. Uh, you can see there are several options. For server, and we set it as 0 .0, 0.0.0, .0, which means it's listening on all interfaces. Server port. Because go quiet, obfuscates your traffic as SSL traffic or TLS traffic. Um, it uses the port 443 because that's the HTTPS for, uh, port. Local port, it doesn't matter. Password, uh, it does matter. In this case, we just use testing one, two, three. The other two you don't need to worry about. Right. The next configuration will be 
go quiet configuration. Let's use the template and edit this file. The first field, web server address, is, um, well, actually, I didn't mean to delete that, uh, is the redirect string address when GQ server receives a uh, package in that was a pack that is not SS traffic. It's to read more about the mechanism of G, uh, go quiet, you can uh, have a look at the readme. Uh, in this case, this is the uh, IP address of Bing. Yes. Uh, and uh, the key. This is independent from the shuttle Sox key, but they can be identical if you set it as that. There's no security issues relating to, related to this. Now, to start a server, type ss server, dash c leads to the uh, uh, configuration path of shadow Sox. Right, I forgot something. Now, GQ server is not executable. You need to sage mode it. If you don't know what this command does, it basically gives any file in Linux uh, the privilege to be executed. And now let's run. All right, sudo. Yeah, sudo as a server. Sudo because we are binding to 443, and in Linux we have to have super user privilege. Let's see. Shadow socks. Libf config.json. That's the shadow socks configuration. It's double dash plugins. Uh, there's no S. That leads to the path of our GQ server executable. Plugin ops. In double quotation mark. And the path that leads to this configuration file in this case because we are running it uh, in the same directory we don't need to add anything enter and we can see it's up and running now the next step is to download shadow Sox client and go quite client side um then we'll look to do this you go to shadowsocks.org i have no idea if this is blocked in china if it is just go to the GitHub page directly and download the release. And let's go to Go Quiet Release and download your desired binary. Uh, it's either Win32 or Win64. Now I have already um, uh, unzipped Shadow Socks. Let's just move go quite client to the same file as well the same directory as well and we need to down create a file in this directory called gq client so let's go to go quiet config the template configuration copy everything And we have some configurations. The server name should match the IP. Well, how should I say it? The redirection web address of your uh, of the one that's set in GQ server. Uh, if you don't understand it, just leave it as being. Test uh, the key has to be the same as the uh, GQ server key. Uh, the other two don't need to worry about. Uh, you can read more about it in README. Now, uh, yeah, that's saved. Now we can open up Shadow Socks. Server address will be 
the address of your proxy server, which is the AP, uh, VPS. Mm. What is my address of the VPS? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, port will be 443, password. It will be the same as the one you set. Cypher needs to be the same as the one you set in uh, uh, SS server config. Plugin needs to be the path or just a uh, file name if that's in the same directory. Plugin options will be again the path to that uh, configuration JSON file. And proxy port dot. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Let's just leave it as default 1080. Uh, so now let's click OK. The next step is to set your system proxy settings. Um, uh, I'm using a Chinese op uh, operating system, but basically, if you type proxy, it should come up uh, as proxy settings, manually set proxies. Enable proxy server and you type 1080. This is the same one as the one you set here. And you click save. And it should be working now. Let's test it with Chrome. If you go for IP, yes, that is the same IP address as we just saw from. Uh, uh, from our VPS IP. And yeah, that's it. You can browse the internet with using your proxy server. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.